you never answer your phone? Give it a rest, eh? I only just crawled out of a pub lock-in half an hour ago. So, what was going on here last night? How should I know? I was down the road. All I did was call the police to report a crime. A little thank you would be nice. Truth would be nicer. I'm being straight. Charity's skint, so I guess she thought your gaff was easy pickings. Her only mistake was telling me her plans first. And why would she do that? I've got a very trusting face. Yeah. Only I grassed her up. How very noble. Yeah. Well, I know what side my bread's buttered. I'm dead loyal, me. Hmm. Strange, cos yesterday you accused me of treating you like an unpaid skivvy. Then I saw the error of my ways. You made me realise I needed to prove myself. And suddenly, out of the blue, you get the chance to protect my family home. Oh, yeah. Call it divine intervention. Just be glad I'm on your side. So what do I get out of it? My eternal gratitude. Don't mess me around, Kim. <laughs> There's some money on the side. See? I always knew we'd make a good team. Only the thing I don't get is, if Charity was the one robbing me, how come Noah got caught? Hi. You busy, Annie, the word? <laughs> I'd say first you need some manners. And then a shower, you stink like a wino. Seriously, for once, could you just not play Cruella? I'm assuming you're not here to try and get on my good side, then. Kim, please. This isn't even about me. Ah, oh, then it must be about your prodigy breaking into Robin. It was a mix-up! Noah wasn't there doing a burglary. No, cos you were. You honestly thought Mackenzie wouldn't tell me. OK, fine. I was in the wrong, but I just... I needed some cash, OK? And you're not the only one who wants the kids to go to uni. To do what? Learn how to ram raid? He's only ever gonna follow in your thieving footsteps. But that's where you're wrong. Noah isn't like me, OK? He's a good kid, because do you know why? He's half Tate, which means he's half your family. I think you can see where I'm going with this. You had a seedy bunk-up with my repellent stepson. Nothing to do with me. You're a mum. You get what I'm saying. I've seen you with Jamie, you'd walk over glass for him. Cos he's my son. Yeah, and Noah is mine! Which means you could fix this for him. How? By telling the police it was a mix-up. That you don't want to pursue it, so it all just goes away. After everything you've done, you're deluded. Oh, come on, Kim! This was Mackenzie anyway, you know, he cut the whole thing up. He was going to do you over good and proper. Funny, cos he says he wasn't even there. So who should I believe, seeing as he's the one who dropped you in it? No, he's the one who dropped Noah in it. Which is why I need you to get the police off his back. So you're saying it's all down to me to save him? Pretty much, yeah. Hmm. Only we both know it's not. Because actually, you could clear Noah's name in seconds by admitting you did it. OK. I see what you're doing. You want something? No. Want to strike some kind of deal? Not even that. So it looks like it's your choice, Charity. Either Noah goes down, or you do. Oh, will you just quit with the death stares? Making out like I'm Satan. I mean, since when have you lot been perfect? Just shut up and do the right thing, will you? You're all out of excuses, kid. None time. Well, I'll figure something out. I always do. No, babe, please, will you just tell him what you've said? Ignore her. Your mum has to take responsibility, love, not you. Why can't you just step up and protect your kids for once in your life? Oh, I do love to see a happy family gathering. Makes you all warm and fuzzy inside. Oh, go boil your head. A large Pinot Noir, please. On the house, I'm guessing. Sorry, did you not just hear me? I think the least you can do is get me a drink. Especially now I've just got your son off the hook. Just to keep the bottle, Kim. Hm. So, how? Unlike you, I'm gifted with charm. I simply confirmed Noah's story. 
He's my relative. It was an unplanned visit. A misunderstanding. And the police brought that? The investigation's been dropped. Fortunately for Noah, family actually means something to me. No, hang on. I would have sorted this out, OK? I would have done. Noah, you believe me, right? Just say thanks. What? <laughs> say it. Thanks. Uh, not sure I heard that. Thank you, Kim. Huh. Thank you, Kim, for doing what I couldn't because I'm too gutless. Well, at least your son has manners. Must be the Tate in him. Noah, go get your coat. We're going. Yeah. Mind the bar. I'm going to go and pack for my honeymoon. <sighs> OK, why? Well, that is the million-dollar question. Oh, come on, you hate my guts. So what have you done this for? For Noah? Or for me? You saw them. They despise you. You hung your own son out to dry. And to top it all, I came riding to the rescue. It was just too good to miss. OK, so all this, cos you get off on seeing me suffer. Well, I must say that thank you was an unexpected treat. Right, so what, are we quits then? Cos you've kind of ticked the ritual humiliation box, haven't you? No, 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 no. That was merely the warm-up. See, you owe me charity. And whenever I decide that I want that debt repaying, probably when you least expect it, I'll come knocking at your door. <laughs>